hey there welcome to part 5 so in the last part we have discussed about the sequence activity uh, uh, again uh, apart from the sequence activity uh, we discussed message box activity to show a message to the user input dialog activity which will ask the user to input in the text box and we will get the data from there then we designed a hello world message um, uh, like message process which will get the details from the user and it will show to the in the to the user as a message box so then we change our requirement um, and the requirement was uh, just ask the user his name or her name once they put it show them them a message box saying hello then their name but the issue was there when we are getting the data from the user but we are not showing it to the user like user is able to input their names but it is showing only hello so in this series we will be going to fix that so this part is mostly about the project types or container activities I told you before. So we'll go through one by one. Then we'll try to fix our issue, whatever we get it in the uh, last uh, last particular uh, part. So once we'll get the time, then we'll discuss input box and uh, message box and input box dialog activity. Project types are uh, three types in UI path. One is sequence, another is project, uh, and the last one is state machine. So sequence is a kind of more controlled way. If you know the process, like in the step one, one uh, step one will happen, then step two will, will go, then uh, step three will go, and um, in that case, it's more controlled. We know that the particular flow how it will be. In that case, we can go with a sequential um, sequential project. The problem with uh, sequential process is we cannot uh, switch between steps. Suppose you want to go from step two to step one, then it is not possible. You can't do that. Then the state machine. State machine is a kind of uh, reactive way. Suppose something happened, something respond to that uh, particular event, and job is all done. So those kind of scenarios, these are basically more science on long running processes. Okay, take an example of e-commerce, typical e-commerce application. So these are the um, some states. I mentioned it here. It's a hypothetical uh, things. It's not exactly matching to the e-commerce so website and their other state. So basically the first, first part is uh, they have to book it. The user is uh, book, book a particular order. Then uh, that state of that particular is booked. Once that state and that process come to this set, then it will send the notification to the supplier and to the um, whoever purchased that owner of that particular. Once everything is done in the booked state, then another thing, the supplier will notify that order is confirmed. Okay, then the, it moved from book to confirmed state. And in the confirmed state, it can do the um, it, do the information like it can send the packaging notification to the packager and it will ask the courier to collect the it then it can go for out for delivery state so there it can send a notification to the user saying the your order is going to arrive today and update the data so once the order is delivered so it comes to the delivery state okay then update data and update the crm details the last terminating process of this particular order uh, state is would be end where it will update the return policy now going forward the user cannot cancel the particular order it's delivered the only thing he can do is return so if you see booked confirm out for delivery delivered end these are the state of the process and it's related to the real-time business um, business object to whatever we have and it's state okay so it's basically used in more uh, complex projects and long-running processes the benefit here is we can switch between branches we can go from uh, from branch one to branch two okay suppose in the here the out uh, you can see in the out for delivery and deliver okay suppose the out for delivery is uh, state is there but the user is not available then the delivered status will not go it will not go to the delivered and uh, deliver state it will again go back to out for delivery then flowchart it's a kind uh, of mix between state machine and sequence it's a hybrid um, model going forward able to understand one by one 
so in this particular module we are going to fix our bug that means the error whatever we got we just wanted to show the user hello then the username let us jump to our ui path box and see so this is where we are up to in the last uh, last particular part we designed this one we dragged a hello sequence uh, sequence from uh, from the activity then we put our input dialog activity and message dialog activity input dialog activity will ask the user to input his name or her name and message dialog should show hello then his name or her name like this way okay but the problem here is let us run and see what is the problem here if we run the application we will put something xyz put click ok still if you see it's giving hello only there is no name even though we put the name as xyz let us ok and close it so we have to fix this issue and we have to show the user like uh, this way suppose hello then x y z this is what we need to achieve but currently only we are able to see hello so before going forward let us uh, do uh, change the, this names always keep try to give a very meaningful name so here if i'll select then the their properties of the particular uh, dialog box will be appear here and if you see here input dialog box will change it as the user name then enter so it will reflect here then we'll change the message box so you'll say hello message box enter then it will reflect this one this part is done now even though we are getting the data from the this particular activity input dialog activity we need a container to store the data currently we are not storing any data from this activity even though we are getting the data from that once you are able to store this particular data to a container suppose here you are able to state that particular name here then we can pass this like we can read the value from that container to here okay so to do this kind of job ui path has a concept called variables variables are basically it's a kind of memory location where uh, we can store some value and we can access between activities these are kind of containers suppose you have a container okay and this container can store for a specific type of value okay we'll learn it later in the future videos so this is the container if you see it's a container okay so and now this is our input dialog activity and uh, this is our message box activity okay so the value we have to enter it uh, you have to get it from here okay and you have to sorry then you have to send it here okay for this it has a concept called variables variables are basically named memory location okay for now just remember this one how can we create variables creating variables in a ui path can be done um, multiple ways so one is from here if you see the ribbon there is a uh, called create variable from here you can create a variable or there is a window here in the below by clicking it we can create a variable let us go with this one a below one so once you uh, click that it will open a window create variable window where it will ask for create a variable okay for now let us um, put it a variable one and keep all other types like whatever other values as it is we will going forward we will try to understand what all those variables are okay so it, um, selection so somehow i clicked it okay so now it's got created the variable is there that means the container is there we we created up to this part we created the container now the next step will be you have to enter this value to here okay 
so how to do that whenever when input dialog box get any data it ha, it gets the data and stored in the uh, stored in the particular configuration called result so output of that particular dialog box is a result so whatever uh, the user inputs it will go to a result which is present just in here in the properties window here you have to give the value so here we have a variable called variable variable and we want to send the data to the variable so once you start typing it will show you that that particular variable name whatever is available with that first uh, um, variable which started with this particular name so now it's grayed out okay so once you go to here somehow it got vanished okay so in that case what you have to do just you have to press control then space bar it will list you all the intelligence that means whatever is available which starts from br now it's in the variable this is in the top now you have to select select it that's done okay so the second part is done that means we created a, this one and now now we got the value to here sorry sorry now we got this value here the last thing we have to do it is you have to get access this value to here okay so this part we have to do now go to message box as it's uh, as, like if you want to do some modification to that activity then you have to go select that here and you have to go to the property so here if you see what we are showing to the user is a content it's a value from the content field okay Con from the content the value we are showing now the value is stored in the variables now i'll put a small plus sign don't worry about this particular plus sign i will be explaining in future videos most probably in the next um, part now we'll say, say get the value for us from the variable and i pressed enter now save it now click f5 you saw, saw that right once we did the modification here it's now reflecting here also right it's nice okay now you will click uh, run okay the message box came in now we have to enter this um, what uh, suppose xyz we'll go with the last one then we'll click okay now you can see it's coming hello xyz okay let us rerun it and see if other name if will if the user is giving is it coming or not ram okay now if you see here it is everything is coming so in this particular part we learned how to create a variable how to the how to get the variable uh, like what is variable is it's a basically memory location means a container where we can say store some values then we learned how to get the value from the activity to the container or to the variable okay then we learned how to get that value to a activity that means a message box activity this is the sequence this is the flow hover so more about these things more about variable will will be going i will be discussing in the next part for this particular video this much thanks for watching hey guys uh, if you have any suggestion or comments or if you have any doubts or questions in for me then you can put it in the comment box so in uh, going forward i will put my email id you can just send me an email i will be whenever i will get time i will try to respond in